There's something really important that I would like to address in this video because it keeps coming to my attention and I've been coaching people on this. And a lot of times when I have someone come to me, most of the time when people want coaching from me, the thing that always comes up is relationships. There's always something to do with the relationship that they want to manifest a relationship. But when I talk to them, and I study them and I see their inner dialogue. I notice where their thoughts are going. I see where their life is. I see what they're trying to manifest like ultimately. And every conclusion that I reach in this state is do not focus on relationships. Do not focus on the person that you want to be with. Focus on yourself. Develop and create your current conception of self as a complete person doing the things that you want to do creating the life that you want to live like your career and your ultimate goal with yourself being complete and once you do that somewhere along that path of creating that towards the end you're going to find this person so if you want if you're trying to create a relationship now before you do all of those things before you become complete and happy and satisfied and content and living the life that you want to live you if you try to find a relationship before that happens you're going to find somebody that you're not going to like when you get there you need to find somebody when you're already there when you become complete that's when you locate the relationship that you want that's when that, that person you're going to find someone they're going to be drawn to you you're, it's going to be inevitable that you're going to find this perfect person once you become complete but if you find, if you're looking for a relationship before you become complete, you're still incomplete and you find that relationship now, you're not going to want that person once you become complete. So you want to manifest a relationship now. I want to manifest a relationship. Then I'm going to work on this. Then you do that. You find this person and then you're like, okay, so I got the relationship. Now I'm going to focus on my end result over here. I want to create this much money. When you get the money, when you find the happiness, the career, then you are complete. Then you're going to realize that you don't want that relationship because that person is incomplete. If you find a person while you're incomplete, you're going to find someone else that's incomplete. You have to be complete before you can find someone that's complete and compatible with. You want to find someone that is in the state, not in your current state, but in your completed state, the version of yourself that has everything that you want when it comes to your career and your in your self concept, the person that you want to be when you develop that, then you won't even have to try to find somebody. There's going to be so many people that are going to want to be with you in this completed state because people are attracted to completed people. Once you're successful and you have everything you want, you're happy, you're content, you're complete, you're no longer going to be looking. So you're going to be a, they're going to be attracting all these relationships into your world. So do not focus on relationships before you focus on yourself because your concept of yourself is going to change. And this is something that I learned when I was in prison because when I was trying to change myself and fix all these things before I went to prison, I, I could never do it. And I was always in a relationship. So I was always focusing on relationships. That's one of the things that I did wrong. I was always trying, I always had to be in a relationship because I was incomplete. So I was trying to find someone to make me feel happy. Then I was like, okay, so if I find this relationship and this person's making me happy, then, then I can go, you know, then I'm going to figure something else out why I don't have, you know, everything that I want, why I'm not happy or this person's going to make me happy. So I'm going to, I'm going to find this person that's going to make me happy. It's going to put a bandaid on the real issue. And then I'll find myself afterwards. You, that's, that's backwards thinking. And that's what I'm talking about. So one of the things that I learned when I went to prison is I didn't have relationship. I didn't have a relationship because the, the relationship that I was in, that person broke up with me and, and left me within the first year that I was in prison, which is completely fine because I was a disaster. I was a disaster. I didn't blame them in any way. But the point that I'm bringing this up is while I was in prison, I didn't have relationships to focus on. I was focusing on me. And that's why I made drastic improvements with my concept of myself because I was focused on me. I wanted to fix the core issue within me. I wanted to fix the core issue within me. And I had that opportunity. I was forced into that opportunity. So I really had no responsibilities. I didn't have all these things going on where I had a relationship to think about. I had all these other things to think about. I was focused 
on me only. So I wanted to fix my inner dialogue. I wanted to fix my concept of myself. I wanted to repair the issues that I had where I always needed a relationship, you know, which is a part of instant gratification and trying to make me feel happy, something outside of me to make me happy, just like alcohol, drugs, and these addictive behaviors of, of wanting something outside of myself to make me happy. When you have to turn to yourself, you have to fix yourself first before you go looking for a relationship. So if you're not completely whole and happy with yourself, don't try to manifest a relationship because that person that you're going to find is going to be incomplete too. And when you find your true self, when you locate your true self and you fix your inner dialogue and you change your concept of yourself and you locate the things that you really want in life, you know, where you want to be and that concept, then you're going to realize that you don't want to be with this person, the person that you found before you found yourself because you don't want to find somebody until you find yourself. So ask yourself that question. Are you complete and whole right now? Like, are you, is that, is this the last thing that you're trying to manifest? Because if you're still trying to manifest, you know, your end goal, your, the house that you want to live in, these things that you want to live in, your career, or the amount of money that you want to make, are you making your, the amount of money that you want to be making? I mean, if this is the, if it's the last manifestation you're working on, then yes, absolutely start manifesting a relationship. But if you're still trying to get all these other things, don't get a relationship first, unless you're not trying to get anything else. Like if you're not trying to manifest a certain amount of money, you're trying to manifest a relationship where that person's going to provide for you. Like if you're a feminine woman, you're not an independent woman and you don't want to find your own path, but you just want a masculine man to take care of you, which is absolutely fine. If you are in that case, then yes, start manifesting a relationship. But if you're an independent person and you want to develop your, you want to create your own life, your own career, do that first before you find a relationship. And this is a topic that I wanted to cover because it's been coming up all the time. And I coach people on this and I try to tell them and I want to try to tell everybody because it seems like a pretty hot topic, you know, that people are trying to manifest relationships before they actually find themselves, which I am absolutely coaching against. I'm coaching against finding relationships before you find yourself because you're just going to find someone that's incomplete. And I base all of this on my own experience and every experience that I've seen where somebody has tried to do this and it always has failed. It's something has always happened, you know, whether they didn't want that relationship anymore or where it distracted them to the point where you know they couldn't create the path or the independent life that they wanted you know prior to that so it kind of it hindered their ability to create the life that they absolutely wanted so focus on yourself focus on yourself develop yourself build your own brand and then more than likely you'll find a relationship will be on that path to that brand to the finishing product of what you're creating like you're like creating yourself defining yourself finding your end result where it completes you on that path is where you're going to find your relationship and if not then but after you do that then you can start manifesting and visualizing and affirming for a relationship after you've become complete and i've also seen instances where somebody actually tried to manifest a relationship got married even had children and then started focusing on their end goal. And when they got there, they realized that that entire family that they created, they no longer want. And that causes divorces. It causes all of these things to happen because that person wasn't complete when they created that. And they so they got a divorce. The kids get separated from their mother or their father before they created their they fixed themselves and determined who they wanted to be. They found a relationship premature to that and it destroyed that. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to give me one thing you guys are grateful for. Anything you want me to expound on or any thoughts you have on this subject, put that in the column box below. I'd love to read that. I'm going to read all of the comments. So any thoughts you have on this subject, let me know in the column box below. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.